Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. Hi, my name is Nisa Ahmad. I teach Grade 5 English at Bedford View Primary School. Today we've done a lesson on how to do script writing. We started the lesson off introducing the children to what a dialogue is, what are the necessary components of a dialogue. Today we're going to be learning how to write a dialogue. Now, in the past we've done stories. We've just all written a fairy tale. What's the most important thing to have in a story? The main part of a story is characters. We have characters. And when we have characters in a story, what are they meant to do? Direct speech, because they are talking to each other. My name is Shakira Akabal. I am a PhD candidate at the University of the Witwatersrand, and I'm studying inclusive education now for the sixth year. Inclusive pedagogical practices refer to skills, techniques, problem-solving strategies that teachers use in the classroom that maximize full participation of all learners, that include all children within the classroom, and that is respectful of all the children within the classroom. This time, we are going to learn the rules on how to write a dialogue for a script. What is a dialogue? A dialogue is a conversation between two people. So if we've got characters, and now we know we're writing in our books, we've got to have a margin, okay? And we said that the names of the characters are going to be appear along the margin in capital letters, followed by a colon. Right, Caleb, you chose yourself as your character. What are you saying to me? Good morning, Mrs. Ahmad. So he's speaking to me. Naturally, I've got to be the next character. When we're writing a script, what do the unspoken words do for us? They do the actions. They show that the person is doing an action. So it's not just your spoken words. Everything that's happening in this play is written on your script. From there, we moved on to the, the learners reading through a dialogue that was up for them. Late last night, I lay in bed. Modeling is an inclusive practice because the learners know exactly what their expectations are and they are able to lower their own anxiety levels and participate fully. Um, it allows all children to participate because they know what to do when the teacher shows them an example of what is expected of them. After that, um, we are given them a choice of topics and the learners then had to, within their groups, choose topics that they felt would work best for them. and. Once the topics were chosen, we went through which characters were going to take part in the role play and we then started writing our role play, our dialogues for the chosen topics. The learners got very into that, they were very excited, they were able to role play their characters a bit more. There were props that they were able to use, they used the props, they loved that. You know, they love the props and it, I think it brings out fun and excitement for them as well. It, it gets them into the lesson a whole lot more as well. So they were able to use their props and they wrote their um, lines for each other. And then they little, they, you know, they, they played that out for each other as well. You are going to brainstorm ideas in your group to come up with how you're going to write your dialogue. Before we start doing dialogues in groups, let's quickly run through some rules for group work. First one. One person speaks at a time. One person speaks at a time so that we can all hear our 
opinions and everybody's thoughts gets heard. You're going to write the topic at the top of your page. You're going to write each of your names and you're going to write the role that you're going to play. And then we're going to start writing scripts. Remember to talk your lines out before your scribe actually puts them to paper. Caleb can act like Shania because Shania is not here. Okay, fine. Number one. You say like you mess or you like to play along. You mess on a cheat and you know. I'm the best of the cheat. Hi, Phoebe. Can you please borrow me your favorite jeans? I'm going to like this awesome party. Sure, let me just go ask my dad. Daddy, is it fine if my friend borrows my favorite jeans? Yes, but she mustn't break it and she must return it. My party, my party. <laughs> Daddy, my friend ruined my jeans. She did what? Why did she let my daughter lend her best jeans to her best friend? Mm -hmm. I don't know. In preparing for this lesson, I looked at ways that I needed to adapt this lesson for this particular class. I needed to be able to make sure that the lesson worked for each of the children, where they were all able to um, contribute, participate, actively participate. But I also wanted to get the kids thinking about how they would solve the problem, a conflict resolution being one of the issues that they would need to be able to solve in a respectful manner. I put the learners in groups. Um, we had a look at different abilities and we put them in, uh, we put, we paired off learners with stronger learners. We find that that works with the cooperative learning in that the stronger learners are able to guide the process a little bit more and then the learners who are in need of support take guidance from their peers more readily. Ms. Amod's classroom had two teachers. One was herself, the teacher, and then she also had a teaching aide. Um, this is a, an example of co-teaching, which is an example of an inclusive practice. It is not common that we see it in South African classrooms, but it is an excellent example of providing individual attention to all the learners, especially when they are working in groups. I find that having a co-teacher with me in the class um, frees me up to be able to assist the learners who are in need of support a lot more than I would have been able to do had she not been with me. For the stronger learners, I've chosen um, a topic where, where they had to, where they would now have to write a little dialogue between themselves and their pet. You are going to write your little dialogue of a conversation that takes place between you and your pet. So your pet's going to tell you about a day in their life. What do they do when you're gone? Does it, is, is it your dog? Is he going off chasing butterflies? Does your cat find the warmest patch of sunlight to snooze in? Okay, so a conversation between you and your pet. Anissa's use of extension activities showed that she was very responsive to the learner's varying needs. 